Hey, what's up everybody? Today I got the latest Apex 1.2 here to show off, so let's get started. Um, first, what you gotta know is that this ROM is based off the latest Froyo leak for Droid X. Um, that's version 2.3.320, and it's actually Android version 2.2.1, which is the newest Froyo build available. Um, this brings a new kernel version from the OTA 2.2 that the Droid X received. So you do have to have had the leak installed first because it installs this new kernel in order to use this ROM. Um, otherwise, you know, if you want to update to the leak to use this ROM, that's definitely your prerogative. But there are, are some risks involved, so please take that into consideration if you want to upgrade to the leak. And uh, please read the directions very carefully. So uh, without further ado, let's just take a look at the actual ROM. Uh, you might have noticed that screen transition is definitely not the stock transition. Um, I've added a couple custom transitions to kind of help the system feel a bit more speedier and uh, give this a distinctive look. So when you go back and forth between menus, you see that kind of flips when you go back and forth. If you get pop-ups, they kind of just fly in like that. So that's nice. Um, in terms of applications, you know, I, I gave this ROM a vanilla look, so it looks like stock Froyo, um, but it does include some blur elements. So um, we do have the blur camera left here, the blur gallery, um, you know, the blur music player, and a lot of these are all very customizable, you know, through scripts. So if you don't like the blur gallery, you can always put in a 3D gallery. Um, you know, if you don't like the the you know Android open source messaging you can switch it in for blur um, all that information is in the thread which is in the video description the link is in the video description so I included ADW launcher instead of the blur launcher by default uh, it really helps to speed things up as you can see transitions between screens are really fast uh, it has this you know sense like preview which lets you just skip back and forth to screens and it's got great support for blur widgets. So as you can see, here's my calendar. If I just click on it, I can resize it. And you know, you can see that the content dynamically changes just as it would on the default blur launcher. Uh, ADW has a whole ton of features. You can unlock them all by going to the ADW settings. Just taking a look. Um, it can be kind of intimidating at first, but you know, just look through the settings, you can customize them to the way you'd like. Or if you uh, just want to take a look at my settings, I actually have a copy of my ADW settings.xml file that you can download, put on your SD card, and just hit this restore settings button, and you'll have all my settings too. Uh, next, I'd like to show you the music player. This is actually just the default blur music player, though it's been themed a little bit to look more like vanilla Android. Um, so, as you can see, I've got, you know, let's play a song. But it's got, um, you know, Motorola's built-in visualizer still. And if you go to the lock screen, the controls are all integrated right here. So, you can pause, you know, rewind, go to the next track, all without unlocking the phone. I'd also like to give a really brief demonstration about how to use the scripts to customize this ROM to your liking. So first thing you gotta do is just launch up Terminal Emulator, uh, ask for super user permissions. And so once you get this uh, pound sign, you can start putting in the scripts. So say you want to change the gallery app, you don't like the Motorola one, and you want the AOSP one. So you type in gallery, and it shows you these are two options, AOSP or Motes. If you append AOSP or modes, it does different things. So right now we got the Motorola Gallery. Let's change it to AOSP. So we type in Gallery, space, dash, A, O, S, P. So now we run the script, AOSP 3D Gallery enabled, and you can see if we go to gallery now, it's going to load up the 3D gallery. 
And of course, this is the first time, so it'll take a little bit to load new albums and photos. But that's basically the gist of it. There are also a few uh, graphical niceties in this ROM. Uh, one of them is the battery percentage in the notification bar. Uh, this goes by 10% increments, which is very convenient. I've also included the timeless neural network live wallpaper. As you can see, a peek inside the droid's cybernetic brain. Uh, this runs nice and smooth, and all your presses launch little sparks. So, if you're interested in learning more about Apex 1.2, uh, please visit the thread. The link is in the video description. If you got any questions, you can post there, or you can uh, hit me up on Twitter. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.